Okay, sidereal period of revolution. That means how many days does it take the Earth to go around the sun once? Okay, a lot of you already know this because we experience it every day, year. 365 days in a year, right? And roughly a quarter, right? <coughs> that explains why there is a leap year once every four years, right? So the typical year will have how many days? 365 days, right? So a typical year. Uh, how many weeks is that? Yeah, 52 complete weeks. Because each week has seven days, right? 52 times seven gives you what? 364 plus an extra day, okay? So a typical year contains 52 complete whole weeks and an extra day, okay? If you know this, what happens, what tends to happen to the days is uh, if this year, let's say today is March 25, right? It falls on a Monday, March 25, this year. So 2013, March 25, falls on a Monday. 2014, March 25, will fall on what day? Tuesday. Why? Because between now and then, we have to be able to fit 52 complete weeks plus an extra day. So what's that going to do? Next year, March 25, falls on a Tuesday. You see? Did you guys realize that ever? Maybe you didn't. Maybe you did. So it's something that a lot of people don't realize. And then the 2015, March 25, will fall on a uh, Wednesday, right? But remember, you have to ma make up this a quarter day, okay? If the typical year has a 365 uh, days, a leap year has how many days? How many days does it take to accumulate a quarter and make it a complete one? How many years does it take? Quarter goes into one four times, right? So after another two years, after three years, after four years, that quarter will have accumulated and become one complete day. So a leap year has 366 days, which means it has 52 times 7, 364 plus two days, right? And then how often do we have a leap year? Every four years. Okay, so therefore, March 25, Monday, 2014, March 25, Tuesday, 2015, March 25, Wednesday, 2016 should be leap year, right? 2012 was a leap year, 2016 leap year. So 2016, March 25 will be when? Friday. Why? Because February 29 is in between that. February 29 will add an extra day, so it's going to bump this up. March 25 will be a Friday. You see? Two days it gets bumped. After that, same pattern. Saturday, Sunday, so on and so forth, right? <coughs> if you use this technique, you can find out what day of the week you were born, in case your parents don't remember, let's say, you know. And you can say, oh, I was born January 3rd, let's say, 1991. January 3rd this year is a uh, uh, Friday. And then you can keep going back one day, one day, one day, one day, skip two days for leap years. Go back one day, one day, one day, skip two days for leap year, and then keep doing that. You can find out what day it was, okay? <clears throat> 
So that's the way that it will work. Now, something interesting you also see here. It's not exactly a quarter. You see it's 0.26, not 0.25. What's the effect of that? This topic gets a little bit complicated, but if you want to read up on it a little bit more, Google the topic Gregorian calendar. Gregorian calendar or Gregorian adjustment, okay? Gregorian calendar and also you can Google the term Gregorian adjustment. So the reason we have a leap year every four years is to make up for the last 0.26 days. That's basically what I was explaining just now. Skip a leap year for any year divisible by 100 except for those years divisible by 400. This is the Gregorian adjustment. Why? We can't keep adding an extra day every four years because we will have uh, over added. Why? Because the, the side real revolution is not exactly 0.25 days, it's 0.26. Okay? The first time that they caught wind of this was somewhere, you know, sometime around 1500s. What they noticed was when they were adding one day, one day, one day every four years, what they noticed is that by the time 1500 came along, spring was starting in May, April or May. And they knew that spring should start in March 21, roughly March 2021, right? And so something was wrong with the days. They had added too many. So I believe what happened was the year 1580 came along, 1581 or 82, and then the, all the popes met, uh, you know, the pope met, the cardinals met, all the people that knew about calendars and the history of calendars, and they said, here's what we got to do to make up for this mistake. We got to skip uh, 15, 16, 17 days, something like that. So they basically said, today is October 2. Uh, the next day will be October 15 or 16. They literally just skipped that. And this ha literally happened in the history of the, our calendar, the Gregorian calendar, okay? So then they said, in order to not make this mistake anymore, what we have to do is every 100 years where we're supposed to add a uh, leap year, we're not going to add it, except for those years divisible by 400, okay? So the next 100 year, it was going to be the 1600, right? Because this happened in 1580, 1570, 1580. Then the next 100 year anniversary was going to be 1600, but since 1600 was divisible by 400, they didn't utilize that rule. Then came 1700. 1700, they were supposed, it was supposed to be a leap year and they were supposed to add an extra day. They didn't, okay? Then 1704 came, leap year, add an extra day. 1708, leap year, add an extra day. Keep doing it until you get to 1800, okay? 1800, it's supposed to be a leap year, add extra day. No, you can't add extra day. They didn't, okay? So the, what's amazing to me is that how did they realize the problem? And then how did they realize how to fix it? Because their fix is pretty good, you know? And this all, they did all of this without having computer knowledge and programming and all of that. They did this back in the 1500s. They knew how to fix a pretty complicated issue like this. <laughs> it's really amazing. Then 1900 came, supposed to be a leap year, skip it. Then 1904, leap year, add a day. 1908, leap year, add a day. Then comes 1996, leap year, add a day. 2000, leap year, should you add a day or drop it? 2000 is divisible by 400, okay? That means you add a day, okay? So when you go back in the calendar of 2000, you will see that we actually did add an extra day, February 29. Okay, then 2004, we added a day. 2008, we added a day. 2012, we added a day. Okay, then the next time we're going to skip one of these days 
2,100, 2,200, and so on, okay? So most likely, therefore, in our lifetime, are we ever gonna experience a year that is a leap year, but we don't add an extra day? No, because we're more or less born 19 something, 1970, 80, 1990, and then we're gonna die, <laughs> bad word, but you gotta say it, uh, 2050, 60, 70, right? But whoever's born 2060, 70, then they will experience this, okay? So this is called Gregorian adjustment. To me, it's a very interesting thing because how did they know how to fix this issue back when they didn't have all the computers and stuff? Amazing.